Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Kevin Williams Jr. I pastor here at Greater Bible Way Temple of Albion. We are located at 402 Austin Avenue in Albion, Michigan, 49224. We would love for you to come out and see our service or even visit uh, our YouTube channel, different social medias where our sermons, our Bible studies, and many services are listed for your enjoyment to help you get through the, your daily trials and tribulations. And also make sure you subscribe. And don't forget to visit our website, gbwtalmian.org. We love you and God bless you. And hopefully we see you soon.
How many of y'all feel like great joy on today? Amen. Amen. We thank God for how God has been blessing me and First Lady Williams. We was able to get everybody a gift almost they came today. Amen. I'd be a blessing. God has been blessing us. Uh, and we wanted to show our love uh, back towards you. Thank you. Uh, because uh, as we talked in Bible study dealing with the topic of Christmas, God made us in who image? His image. So when we give each other gifts, who are we giving God? Who are we really giving a gift to? God. Great joy. Amen. Amen. We look at this particular scripture. We should know by now the writer is St. Luke. But did you know that St. Luke, uh, Sister Kendra Garlington, was a medical doctor? St. Luke was actually a medical doctor. So when you look at his writing, his writing is different from those of different fields. Some of the disciples were fishermen, where they actually fish for a living. That was uh, how they made their ends. Some were tax collectors, praise the Lord, but this particular writer, <clears throat> St. Luke, who also wore, wrote the Book of Acts, was a medical doctor. Also, uh, you look at that, uh, the writings of Paul, which Paul wrote half of the New Testament, uh, 13 books out of the 26 books of the New Testament, Paul called him what? The beloved physician. So it's very important to know that his writings are different because he gives you a specific uh, discrimination, a description of what has taken forth in the miracles of Jesus Christ. Also in my studies, as we was preparing for this wonderful service on today, I come to find out that before Luke wrote this book, he courted Mary, the mother of Jesus. He sat down with her, he spent time with her, to see her, uh, her her point of view or the information that she had to share. So, what are you saying, Pastor Williams? This book is legit. <laughs> there is good and discreet evidence. Many of us have definitely went to high school, graduated high school. Some of us even went to college. And when you're writing your essays, you're writing your papers, you're writing your final exams or what have you, and when you get your bachelor's, you have to write a 40-page paper. And when you know your pass will increase as far as 16, amen, make sure <laughs> put pictures in there and everything. But uh, when you're writing these type of papers, especially to that level, you have to put a source at the end. And um, most of the time, you have a, a page that shows your sources of information. Uh, so here in this particular book, I'm trying to give you the foundation of today. St. Luke had a good source. Let the church say that. Luke also accompanied with Paul on two missions. And Luke was also there with Paul when the emperor Nero of Rome captured Paul and then was later killed. He was there with him on that. Amen? Amen. So he spent time even Timothy. Uh, Timothy had two books in the Bible that Paul read to, uh, read to. Timothy was a young bishop, much younger than me. Amen. So for those that are discriminatory based upon my age, let us remind people that Jesus was 30 when he started ministry. Jesus died, amen, at the age of 33 and a half. So if he's the leader, most would say that many of the disciples and apostles was what? Much younger than him. Amen. Yeah. And if we look at the scriptures, John, praise the Lord, John, his cousin, his first cousin, when Mary and John mother was pregnant, they was pregnant at what? The same time. So this shows you that age doesn't matter. Do we remember about Daniel? He was a young man, a praying young man. Do we remember King David, slime and giant? Amen. At the age of 12. Many of y'all don't even know Mary was pregnant with Jesus when she was what? 13 years old. Y'all quiet here on today. Amen. For those that don't like R. Kelly, you need to read your Bible. You need to read your Bible. Let the church say amen. Lord, help us, please. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let's get quiet right here. <laughs> <laughs> amen. But what I'm trying to say, the point that I'm trying to push forward is that God does not look at the age. God does not look at your age. God does not look at your qualities that you think you have. Amen. That's why he would take somebody that's bust 
Washington in this custody, broke and abused and used them for his kingdom. Because what God sees in you, man can't see. Man can't see the gift that God has established in you. The Bible even says it like this, unless we conform to what? Little what? Children. You ain't fit for the kingdom. So would you know when we little and you you see these kids talk, who are you talking to? I'm talking to my imaginary friend. <laughs> Amen. Maybe they're talking to an angel. You don't know. Amen. They say, well, I want to be the president of the United States. You ain't going to be no president. I want to be a doctor. You, you dumb, you stupid, you ain't going to be no doctor. You don't know what these kids can be. Amen. Amen. If you kill their dream. But we have to transform our thought process which is dealing with what? Faith. Faith. Without faith is what? Impossible to please who? God. God. You gotta have faith. And it doesn't stop there. Faith without works is dead. Yeah. So you can have faith. I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. Amen. And, and you just walk, wake up in the morning, walk to your mailbox, open it. Oh, I ain't no check here for a million dollars. Huh? And you have to put work behind your faith. That's why I get up in the morning, three, four in the morning, drive an hour, hour and a half to my job, to work, right? Almost 12 hours. Get back in my car, drive an hour and a half, two hours home. Because I have faith in the plan that God has for me. When people walk around saying, oh, uh, uh, Red Wings, I We have to stand on the principles of God. If you don't stand for something, you will go for anything. Fool me once, that's on me. But fool me twice, huh? We have to have ourselves in an educated state when it comes to the will and the word of God. When you have God in your life, that brings you good joy. That brings you great joy. Yes. That brings you peace. Yes. I went through one of the roughest storms in my life in 2017. Yeah. And my family, my brother, which is here now, Trusty Corbin Williams, praise the Lord. Even my father, praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, Kevin Williams, singing. my brother-in-law, which is here. Amen. Brother uh, Dwayne Garland, my sister who's here. Kendra Garland, how are you able to stand so strong? But I have that peace, the same peace that's mentioned in the Bible, in the way of the storm. I can look the devil in the face and go toe to toe. Not because of me, but because of what God has done for me. The Bible says in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Not no power like the power rangers. I'm talking about power to lay hands on the sick. And the sick will be healed. Lay right. hands on the dead, and the dead will rise again. Right. You worry about your rent, oh my rent do, my rent do, my worries. I'm about to come on my, my light bill, my turn on my legs, I'm about to come on my heat, my gas bill. You think God don't know you rent do? The son of God and God on the cross three days was in the grave and got up and blessed his children that God was saved.
fancy dresses all in your closet. Real bottom saloons all in your closet. We may not be eating caviar. We may not be eating shrimp. We may not be eating steak. But what would you do have? We should be giving God praise. But what would you do have? We should be giving God praise. But the house that you do have? We should be giving God praise. For what the clothes you do have? We should be giving God praise. And if you got to eat some rainy movies, put some very season salt on that. Then give God the glory. Put your hands together. Then give God. Put our trust in God. Walk by the scriptures. 